Hello, peoples again, and uh, this is Chad, otherwise known as Newton H and BT on Minecraft forums and servers, and SS3 of me, Lord Newton on YouTube, and well, Newton on SS3. Well, anyway, let's figure this out. I don't know. Am I SS3? Have any Lord Nature on YouTube? Yes, I am. Oh, there's an S at the end of that. Well, nonetheless, uh, Minecraft, as you see, 1.0 is out. Yep, there's differences in here, and, um, which one is more recent? That one. Um, yeah. Let's rename this, uh, Current LP World. Yay! That's that's my name. I think it needs a smiley face. But whatever, whatever. I'm uh. Oh my! I'm level four. That was like level a hundred. Or is that ten hearts? Yes, it is. Well, nonetheless, let's see if I still remember how to play. And I hate this mouse. And well, stupid. My mother should get rid of that. Wait, wait, are there arrows in there? Um, do I need two bundles of arrows? Yes, I do. I get some flint. Let's let's go on a quest to get some flint, okay, guys? So yeah, I seen a video and. It was saying how, like, I looked up how to make decent commentaries because, well, I want to make decent commentaries because, well, I, I, quite honestly, I don't know how to put this delicately, but I suck at making commentaries. So, um, yeah, I forgot an axe, stupid thing. I got to all my back up here, but, um, yeah, so said make things to talk about. So I'm just saying like ah, forget that. I've I've been making commentaries for years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. Is this cooked? Yeah, that's what cooked looks like now. I think. Um, I'm just going to grab this and uh, yeah, this cooked. And, um, I'm going to grab some cobble or something. Yeah, it's been too long. I don't even know where I kept all this stuff. <coughs> so, yeah, I was saying things. Keep, like, know what you're talking about. And know what you're going to talk about. So, guys, I think I have a little challenge for you if anyone's watching. Recommend things for me to talk about. Because I'll talk about them. You know that. If anyone that knows me knows, I'll talk about pretty much anything. Because, well, I'm me, and I have no filter. So... Also said to stop using words like, um, um... What did I say again? Oh, yeah, stop using words like, um... I already try to do that, and always have tried to do that. So I've taken drama, and, um... Well, well, I'm, um... Going to be saying, um, well... Um, a lot like um, like I'm going to like say like like and yeah, you you know I'm gonna say like all the time. Also said, don't try to be funny, and that that's good because I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to be keep down the hole, really funny, but I haven't been because I know I'm not, I'm not a funny person, funny looking, but yeah, that's about it. And uh, we need music. Also said things about music, but. Whatever, you guys don't get to hear, listen to my music. It's it's my music. I don't want to drive people off with music like idiots do. It's stupid rap and stuff. I I hate rap. But you guys should know I I abhor rap. It's awful. I can go die. I can go die. I will kill it if I could. Alright, there's some wood in there. Okay. Oh, these controls were clunky. 
But yeah, I'm going to try editing my videos and stuff so they look good. I'm recording an AVI now instead of FLV. That's probably why the quality was so low. So you guys better start watching again. Better appreciate these. And by the way, I'm I'm very very sorry that I haven't been making videos in a while, and that's due to personal issues that you guys don't even know about. So yeah, or really care about. So yeah, just go die if you worry about that. If you don't like me, don't watch me. And I'm going to be uploading more regularly now, maybe once a week, however much I can, however much I used to, because my mother's like home and stuff, and she, she doesn't know about this, this is my life, it's not her life, I can do what I want, she will die, like everyone will die, come on, stupid thing. I remember when leaves did not deteriorate, and that was just annoying. Because you used to always, always have to burn them, and then you'd lag all over, and I kind of want to set this on fire, but it jumped to that, and I'd be like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, and then I'd cry and freak out and stuff, because that's a lot of wood in there. And it's a lot of work, and um... Oh, this mouse! I hate you, mouse! You suck! It's a cord mouse, and what is wrong with it? See, there's something wrong with this mouse. I don't care if I even get all the wood. I have more than enough wood, don't I? You stupid spider, you want a piece of me? I'll kill you. Zelda! My cat's bothering me because I haven't done this in a while. I'm kind of hungry too. I should start eating. I, I have some summer sausage in there. And I've been rambling on about nothing, haven't I? Well, um, uh, yeah, let, let's talk about school. So, how do you guys like school? Do you like working and stuff? Like, or, um, do you like work? Right now, I kind of like school. I'm in a drama class. I love drama. You get to talk about stuff. And, oh, I can recite a poem for you guys. Do you guys like me recite a poem? Would you? <coughs> okay, here it goes. Um, uh, this is, um, Dulce et Decorum Est, or Decorum Est. It, yeah, it's a Latin title, I know. It's by Wilfred Owen, and, uh, Wilfred Owen was basically a guy, he's British, you know, World War One, right? He fought in it. Yeah, I know. But he was pretty reluctant, he was drafted, stupid British guy, and he got a pretty high ranking, he fought for a pretty long time, he survived, he was a great soldier, and he wrote these poems, and, yeah, then, oh, pretty much like a week before the, um, peace signing, to end the war, he got mowed down by machine gun fire and died. Yeah, that that that's kind of sad. That's kind of really sad. So, uh, so yeah, his poems were discovered when his body came back home, and ironically, his body came home the um, uh, day that the um, church bells in his town were ringing in celebration of the end of the war, and. He didn't have, like, a wife or children or anything that really cared about him other than his mother. So his mother was happy, like, yay, my son's coming home, he, he might get a wife and kids and stuff. And then his body showed up that day, and I don't, I can say she probably, she probably would rather have him alive than a body. Just, just saying. So she could kill him herself or something, but I think I've been stalling long enough, so um, let's collect these and I'll... Go and tell this poem. It's Dolce et Decorum Est, or Decorum Est, um, by Wilfred Owens, and, um, get out of here, you spider. Alright. like this song. Alright, uh, bent double like old beggars under sacks, knock kneed, coughing like eggs, we curse through sludge. Till on the haunting flares we turn our backs, 
and towards their distant rest began to trudge. Men marched to sleep. Many had lost their boots but limped on, bloodshod. All went lame, all blind. Drunk with fat fatigue, deaf even to the hoots of the gas shells that drop softly behind. Gas! Gas! Quick, boys! An ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time. But someone still was yelling out and stumbling, and floundering like a man in fire or lime. <coughs> Dimmed through the misty panes in thick green light, as under a green sea I saw him drowning. In all my dreams, before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If in some smothering dreams you too could walk behind pace behind the wagon that we flung him in, and see the white eyes writhing in his face, his hanging face, like a devil's sick of sin, and watch the blood come gargling from his froth-corrupted lungs, obscene as cancer, bitter as he vi cut a vile, incurable sores on innocent tongues. My friend, you would not tell, with such high zest, to children ardent for some desperate glory, the old lie. Dulce et decorum est pro petrea mori. Uh, and that poem is basically, well, in case you couldn't tell, it's kind of about someone, li on the literal meaning, it's kind of about someone dying from exposure to chlorine gas. It, even, it doesn't say chlorine gas, particularly, but that's the only greenish yellow gas used in World War One that caused you to bleed in your lungs, and it pretty much stripped the lining of your lungs out, and you died. And the drowning kind of is a big part of that, because it basically was drowning. You couldn't breathe. You weren't being suffocated. You weren't choking on the gas. You just couldn't breathe. So yeah, um, and I need that for poetry out loud for school, and uh, I can recite another one if you guys want. Do you guys want me to recite another one? Is that a no? Well, pff, too bad. You don't always get what you want, mister. Um, this is All This and More, more by uh, Mary... There's a creeper. By Mary Carr, and um, uh... Oh my no! No 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 Ho 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 Okay, let's figure out where I am. That creeper blue. Um <laughs> I'm not getting out of here, am I? Okay, there's my exit. Uh, see, guys? Always have a sword ready and never tell poetry. It will get you killed. Because people... Apparently, creepers don't like poetry. Hard crowd, but... I mean, tough crowd. Oh, my. What is that that fell on me? Zombie? You know what? You get an arrow to the knee. I missed. Well, you get an arrow to the knee, mister. You get, quit getting your head in the way of your knee. I think you'd rather have your knee hit, and I'm going to have to repair that now. Ah, oh, stupid creeper. You know what? I'm going to kill you. One does not simply kill a skeleton with a sword, but I did. Alright, this is all this and more by, uh, 13 minutes isn't enough by uh, Mary Carr and um I have no interesting history about Mary Carr other than she got kicked out of her school for writing a poem about atheists it was called the um uh, necessity of atheism yeah and it's a yeah, I don't have it memorized I can't recite it to you guys I'm not gonna read stuff um but it's a pretty good poem you guys should read it it's neat Alright, um, all this and more by Mary Carr. The Devil's Tour of Hell did not include a factory line where molten lead spilled in a mouth held wide. No giant drill spiraling screws into hands or feet, nor giant pliers to lower you into simmering vats. Instead, a circle of light opened up on your stuffed armchair, whose chintz orchids did not boil or change. And the Devil adjusted your new spiked antenna almost delicately with Claws curled and lacquered black. Claws curled and lacquered black. Before he spread his 
leather wings and leaped into the acid green sky. Oh, I made that jump. And leaped into the acid green sky. Your head became a TV hall, a gargoyle mirror. Your dopp doppelganger slopped you at the mouth and swollen at the joints, enacted your days in sinuous slow motion, your lines delivered with a mocking sneer. Sometimes the frame froze, reversed, began again. The red eyes of a friend you cursed. Your girl child cowered behind the drapes. Your parents alive again and puzzled by this new form. That's why you clawed your way back to this life. I'm not as good with that one as um, Dolce. And Dolce's harder to memorize, too. So I'm, I'm apparently weird. I'm going to have to do something about that creeper attack, too. Because that thing should not have been able to blow up there. It should not have. It should not have been able to. But you gotta see a little freak out. I didn't really freak out as much as I wanted because I was pretty calm. I'm in a pretty calm mood today. I'm in a very, very calm mood today. Um, how am I gonna go about rebuilding this? Come on, jump up, you stupid thing. There I go. It's rebuilt. I have a big hole under here. Let's fix this hole. I'm gonna make a bigger trench around here now. A lot bigger trench, because this trench is not big enough. And look, I can make it this jump. And that's pretty neat, isn't it? Wait, if I can make that jump, that means everyone can make that jump. Hey guys, so, um, uh, I think that's all we did. We harvest wood. We, we seriously harvest wood? Serious? That's all we did. We got wood. Great. Great. This is a boring episode. It's a boring episode. Okay, this is my walkway. And almost lost a tree. <laughs> Blew up almost a tree location. Oh um, my, uh, let's not use this. Let's, um, this. I know there's an easier. Bows have two ability now? Th that sucks. Can I at least make a diamond bow? Diamond bow! Or like a crossbow? Because then it'd be worth having a durability on your bows if you could make them out of diamond. Diamond! Like one hit kill everything. Be like, oh, what now? What now, creeper? You thought I couldn't kill you with a bow because you blow up first and get in my face? Well, too bad, you're dead now! You're dead! Or be like, yeah, you thought you were gonna blow up? Oh, you know what? You're dead! You're dead! I don't know why it took me. I haven't played 1.1, 1.0 yet. I don't really don't see that much of a difference yet. Like on um, uh, the last update I played on, I know a huge difference. Like this, this looks nice too, actually. Oh, it seems to be running really smoothly, so that might be. I might have worked on that a little bit, because uh, I hope there's nothing about stepping on trees now, because I just did it. I'm pretty sure there isn't though, so because there never was, and hopefully never will be, and hopefully it isn't now. Well, guys, I have to probably make this trench bigger. So um. Let's do this. Let's do this. I hear something. I'm just gonna take out all the dirt first. I'll save this for another time. Really? Well, this will keep them out. I'll just build around this and stuff. I don't really care right now. I want to see what was under there. I should 
just undermined like my entire tree farm. I'm happy there's no gravity going to notch. I don't care. I mean, this is nothing to me. I've made hour long videos before. Huh? Huh? You like that? Do you like that apple? Yeah. Yeah, I said that. How do you like that apple? There's zombies in here too. And there's no music this entire episode. I'm sorry guys, but music's not for you. Need more cobble anyway. I'm gonna build a lot with it. So guys, I might get some building done or something, I hope. There's a weird sound outside now. Oh, this is gonna be a mine. Yeah, this will be a mine. This will be a drift mine. Get a lot of resources this way. Good resources, hopefully. Not just cobblestone. That would suck. I mine for hours and all I get is cobble and you no know, like mob spawners appearing so I can mine something good like a creeper hopefully because those are good mob spawners. Oh, 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 and I dug into my cave thing because it won't be a mine. Whatever. Now I have an escape route if I fall in again if if I run the right way. Well, guys, I think I'm just gonna leave at this. And just tell you guys to have a nice day and s such. So um, I'm gonna go back to my housey. There's creeper holes all over. This was a creeper hole. Well, guys, I'm going to just hang out down here, I guess. This is a nice spot. So I'm on level five, and I'm gonna save and quit. And this is Chad. I'll